Hi, I'm Captain Hope Cronin, United States Air Force, and I'm here today with Mr. Peter Kim, our Chief Information Security Officer. Hi, how are you doing, Hope? Nice to be here. We just announced here at the headquarters of Hacker One the Hack the Air Force initiative, which is a first for the Air Force. Um, could you tell us a little bit about that? So Hack the Air Force is uh, a continuation of Hack the Pentagon, Hack the Army. At the basic level, it's going to be uh, a challenge for hackers around the country, anybody active duty military and civilian, and also people from the United Kingdom, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia to basically hack the Air Force and find vulnerabilities and report them to Hacker One and then that will direct us to fix these high vulnerabilities. So uh, for the hackers out there that might be watching this, registration opens on the 15th of May, closes out on the 29th, and then you guys commence hacking on the 30th of May. So just to be clear, you literally want hackers to come hack <laughs> Air Force assets? I know it sounds, it sounds crazy, but yes. We want to know where our highest vulnerabilities are to some of the most critical public-facing assets we have in our Air Force. What kind of vulnerabilities, though, do you think folks are going to find on these public sites? I think um, they're, going to, they're going to find vulnerabilities, I think, that we probably never anticipated using some of maybe our traditional tools. What I'm hoping is some of these hackers are using some unconventional uh, methods, uh, tactics, and techniques, and procedures that will uh, maybe look beyond what we're used to seeing and find some of the vulnerabilities that uh, we never anticipated. Why crowdsource uh, security at this point? There are adversaries hitting our websites all the time. Uh, we're probably under cyber attack right now in some form or fashion from somebody trying to penetrate our, our, our uh, public facing web assets. So I think we have professionals within the Air Force, uh, cyber operators that secure and defend our websites. Another second opinion, another set of eyes with unconventional methods, unconventional uh, kinds of folks like the hacking community is a good way to see what else in terms of vulnerabilities of our uh, environment that they can find. What better way to have a second opinion on the health and security of your web servers than getting hundreds of basically second opinions on the vulnerability of our assets. So the more eyes on the problem, the more angles we see it, the more holistic the security solution. Absolutely, absolutely well said. General Goldfein, the Chief of Staff of the Air Force, he has a, a saying that he's well known for. He says, fight's on, and we know the fight's on in the hacking realm every single day. Uh, so do you have any, any challenge or motivator for our hackers? Uh, show us what you've got. If you've got the mojo to hack us, I encourage you to use whatever tools, techniques, and procedures. We'll be on the other side looking for you and trying to secure and defend. Bring your best uh, efforts to hack us. Um, I do want to say that um, the things that you find are at the at surface level vulnerabilities on our public facing web servers, but at probably a deeper level, you're helping us uh, in a big way to uh, have a, uh, a secure Air Force, uh, secure missions, and ultimately uh, defending and securing the nation in cyberspace. So, hacks on, huh? Hacks on. Hacks on. Hacks on.